Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here. Um, just taking the time to uh, pay attention and to say something about what is happening with our brothers and sisters in China, our black brothers and sisters in China, the Africans in China right now. The, the, the stories that I'm getting, I'm not happy with, I'm not pleased with, right? I know for some of us, we're focusing on Jesus and his death and resurrection. And uh, for Adventists, we're focusing on the Sabbath and, and all those different things. But, um, you know, the, the noise is getting even louder right now with regards to how the Chinese, I don't know if it's the government or just the Chinese people because of stigma or what they have been through with, the, with COVID-19. Africans are being kicked out of their homes. Africans are denied access to medical care. Africans are um, being taken advantage of right now um, people in terms of where they live um, their landlords are collecting the money for rent and then kicking them out uh, the reason is the reason why they're doing this apparently they're saying that africans brought covid19 um, to to china but the funny thing is that there is no covid19 is not ravaging um uh, uh africa like it did China and all these other places around the world, right? I'm just lifting up my voice. I'm raising concern here. I don't know what the Chinese government is doing. I don't know if they are a part of this or if they've turned a blind eye. But to my brothers and my sisters there in China, to my African brothers and sisters, you have people who are listening to these things. We're concerned. We're praying for you all. We're doing our best to share the information on social media, right? I will post a video in this description box, right? But shame on China for doing this. You just went through something terrible. Everybody here, even here in Canada, we're all going through this thing, right? As a matter of fact, governments over here are doing their best to protect Asians and Chinese because of, uh, you know, people's um, attitude towards them in terms of saying that COVID-19 originated with Asians, right? So, you know, I don't know the hypocrisy, the the, the, the foolishness. I, I don't know if it's a cultural thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just straight malice or racism, right? But I do not like it. And, um, you know, as Christians, the Bible asks us to lift up our voices and speak for those who cannot speak or, or do something for those who have no power. For those of us who have the ability to do something, we need to raise our voice. I um, shout out to um, Justin Trudeau. I call on Justin Trudeau and 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 um, you know our Prime Minister to say something about these things. You know, I I don't think this this is just some foolish video going around the world or anything like that. We have enough of it. We have credible reports coming out of China speaking about how China is um, uh, the Chinese are rather treating the Africans. We have the Chinese in Africa. And they're building there and they're collect, getting resources from Africa. So I don't understand why it is that the Chinese are behaving like this. Or I don't understand why it is that the Chinese government have not, um, you know, done something to stop it. You know, people are going on buses, apparently, and the Chinese are getting off the buses, right? You know, like I said, medical care, they're not getting all those things. They can't go places... Um, to, to, to shop and to move about freely like everyone else. Lifting up my voice, right? You know, it, it, it's, it's not something that should be happening. Um, we're all going through a crisis right now. And um, to my brothers and my sisters over there in China, stay strong, stay strong, all right? We got you in our prayers and we're gonna be making as much noise as possible to say that this is not right, especially in a time like this. God bless you, we got you. Stay strong.